Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Otemedia, and today we've got a brand new collaboration, brand new song that I'm going to react to live in this video. It is Smack Talk by RL Grime, Knock 2, and ISO XO, which is ISO Knock together, and so it's like a, it is a big triple collaboration of huge artists that are all in this very similar realm of style of music. We're getting the return of a true ISO Knock track as well, or a um, collaboration project, and so uh, I am excited to hear this one a ton. I've heard good things about this. This one was indeed voted on by the Bowtide Gang. Actually ended up being a tie, and so if you want to break that tie in the future and or have a say in other weeks and videos that get made here, uh, you can join channel membership today for just two bucks Canadian a month, and you can help out support the channel a little bit. So, uh, But let's hop into it. I have no idea what we're getting on this track, and so uh, without any further ado, let's hop into it. Here is Smack Talk. Oh. Very moody, dark intro. Big minor chords. It's almost like an electric organ sound. Very Halloween-esque. This is a long intro, so this might this might go hard. Okay, where are we going? Art style? Nope. Oh. What's that instrument? It's like some Arabic instrument. Um, that like this part here. The. It's almost like a processed bagpipe. Oh, another mood shift back down to this bridge section. Oh, oh, double fake out. Oh my goodness, what a track, smack talk, RL Grime, ISOXO, Knock 2, nasty, 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 uh, right off the top, this might be one of my favorite trap tracks of the year so far, uh, this thing hits hard as its album art implies, um, and just comes in just absolutely swinging. Um, this is a great track. Uh, really enjoyed this a ton. Um, okay, first off, first things first. Um, I, I love the the tone and atmosphere of this track. The idea of this like really synthesized uh, organ sound. I, I think it's some type of it's imitating at least an organ style um, with these with these really just dense, loud, layered minor chords for just a really full sounding track um, that lends itself really well uh, in complement it like in complement in complement the drop sections because that kind of goes away as we get to the the drop sections in favor of that more that other instrument I don't know what it is exactly but um yeah huge sounds and it just kind of smacks right up the head it, it is very reminiscent of like a Halloween-esque style track this feels like one that um will be played in a lot of the spooky mixes uh for the next couple years I think for sure um this thing will go absolutely bananas at a festival I will say a festival or a bigger club setting um like this is a closer. Like this is a closer for uh, an ISO knock tour of sorts, or whatever you want to do it. Even RL Grime. Like this is a big closer um, style track, and it's one that works really well. Um, big energy again on those drops, and the all around. It just is. 
they're, the ability to play around with a bunch of different sounds and styles and these fake out drops as well and still make it quite cohesive and make it all sound um, very visually or visually audibly pleasing and kind of go on this bit of a journey. I mean, in the end, this track pretty much just goes hard. It gives and gives and gives, and it really um, does a great job of feeling like an RL Grime track, an ISO XO track, a Knock 2 track, and even an ISO Knock track, obviously that that is implied. Um, but it does a great job of feeling like it, it runs into the rest of the discography of the other artists um, and still feels like it is a standalone, really memorable, like almost standout track. And so it's really hard to argue with this thing not being fantastic in the way that it is. Um, it just is, it feels so uh, like musically dense in a great way. Like there's so much going on to pay attention to all throughout, um, whether it's the, yeah, the big synthesized organ sections, the big, um, the, even the fake outs beforehand, the hard style fake out that it was a little bit weirder in the end, but like this um, real hybrid trap first drop and this more kind of festival trap second. It just, it feels like there's a lot to keep going back to and there's stuff that I'm like, oh, I need to revisit this. I need to, oh, I need to think about that more. Like there, it's just, there's so much going going on um, that it lends itself to a ton more replayability uh, in, yeah, it, it just replayability. So uh, I think this track is fantastic. I think this is great. I think this is a true banger that I will end up on a lot of year end lists uh, personally, and we'll have to see if it ends up on mine. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Any and all thoughts right there. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.